Hello everyone and welcome to another Factorio Friday Facts. I'm Exterminator and thank you so much for joining me today. And we are checking out number 436, Loss in Translation. And this is by uh, Arusa. Uh, hopefully I'm pronouncing uh, their name correctly. Uh, but this is about uh, some translation stuff, which may not be entirely relevant to some people uh, probably like English speakers, it's maybe not relevant to, but this is actually really good stuff, and there is a lot of players that, uh, you know, are not native Angli English spe speakers and maybe play in a different language. And this is uh, really great for that. So there were some translation issues uh, with stuff in, like, the Factoriopedia and searching and a few other areas, and they kind of go into how that's been massively improved, which is a great thing. So start off here... Uh, with Ahoy, uh, and it translates to hello, and then another uh, language as well, which is really awesome. I would assume this is Czech. Yeah, this is Czech for sure. Um, we are still di uh, diligently working away at Space Age bug reports. Trouble with languages. So wall fixing in IME keyboard agent and language bug. Introduced by the 2.0 update, I got curious and started exploring localization for various languages. Even though my native language is Czech, all of our development on the game happens in English, so I essentially never run the game in this mode. As I was twiddling about in the Czech crafting menu, it quickly came to light that the user experience wasn't as smooth as uh, expected. So basically, one issue is that any capital non-English letter would cause trouble. Looking up... Uh, Sipadlo, I think. Uh, pump. I, I definitely, I, I probably shouldn't even attempt to pronounce these. I know I'm just going to completely ruin them. Uh, so, looking up, uh, pump yields uh, this, which is pump jack, and uh, this, which is offshore pump, but not actual pump due to the capital C not being matched to lowercase. So, that's, yeah, that's kind of interesting how that works, and <laughs> that could be pretty annoying. It goes in to say that players have already developed a habit of typing stuff like uh, or podlo ump without the p in order, to, in order to avoid the troublesome letters altogether. So uh, they go in to say that non-English search finally supported. So this has obviously been a not great user experience, and the root of the issue was that until now, uh, they search by casting each code letter to lowercase via a standard function. However, internally in Unicode representation, any letter with the accents or outside the Latin alphabet takes up multiple code letters and therefore wasn't recognized or converted at all. Uh, furthermore, Unicode letters are quite a mess since the table has grown gradually over the years. Many letters are scattered all over. Out of the box solutions are usually bloated to accommodate edge cases for many scripts and languages we can't even render in Factorio, like hieroglyphs, Sumerian uh, emojis, etc. Uh, my solution was to write my own custom mapping focusing on languages we officially support. So that's really awesome. It seems like quite a bit of work to do this as well, but you can kind of see some examples here of the results. And since I already started it, uh, start already, I was already at it with a custom solution that allowed me to further tailor search hits to how people type in everyday life. Accented letters are equivalent to non-accented ones. Uh, for example, uh, this iron plates is the same thing with or without accents, and same with this with caps. And then two Japanese uh, kana alphabets are now equivalent in search, and two lowercase sigmas in Greek both match the capital uh, sigma. So this is really really great. I mean, you know, for like me, it doesn't matter personally because I'm a native English speaker and I don't use other languages but there are a lot of people who do and you know just enhancing that user experience I think is huge because it's while it's maybe not like an actual like gameplay feature in terms of the actual like you know playing within the game I mean it kind of is because of search and stuff but it, it really does massively improve the user experience you know search works properly and everything is translated properly and i think factorio generally does do a really good job of this probably better than most games i don't know that many games that support as many languages as factorio does i mean they obviously support greek uh, japanese obviously czech english uh chinese i would assume spanish like there's not a lot of games i've played that support all of these different languages usually there's just like Spanish, English, and like maybe one other or something, uh, but but yeah, this is uh, this is really great stuff. And then 
here is where uh, they would like to hear from you. If there is some other useful search feature that you find missing from a supporting language, please let me know on the forums as a response to this article. So go ahead and uh, go to the forums here, uh, not, not the Reddit for this, for giving suggestions because uh, Russo wants this on the forum. Uh, I've tried to consult these features with our translators ahead of time, but I can only reach so many native speakers myself. It's also possible that some visually similar accents got amended by uh, accident. And then mod portal search, besides the in-game search, our mod portal search also has been improved, which is really great too. That's a huge thing. In the past, it wouldn't always yield proper matches with Asian languages. Uh, we have updated our search prior provider to a newer version, and now it should be working better. And then uh, contribute to translations. So with 2.0 and Space Age, they've added a lot of new items, descriptions, tips, and such to the game. Each of these needs translating into foreign languages, and we rely on our community to contribute these for us. Um, so if you are interested in getting involved in the localization of the game, please join the effort uh, over on Crowd and Project, uh, which they've had going for quite a while and I think has been generally quite successful. Uh, to those already helping out, thank you very much for all your help. We know there are quite a few crowd issues and base game local problems being reported and we hope to address all of them in time. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That That's a uh, pretty short one, but honestly, good stuff and... You know, if you are interested in helping out with this and, you know, maybe are either a native speaker of some other language or just, you know, do know another language, like definitely uh, see if you want to help out because this is, you know, this is important. Making a game as good as Factorio accessible to as many people as possible and allowing them to experience it in their own native language and having it work properly. But that is going to be it for this one. Pretty straightforward, uh, but again, good stuff and I'm sure... You know, we will be getting some more reports here in terms of features they're working on once they kind of go through these bug reports and such. But until then, there's, of course, plenty of other content to watch. And, uh, yeah, you know, if you enjoyed and are excited for this, definitely drop a like on the video. Any thoughts, questions, leave them below as always. And if you're not already subscribed, feel free to, to keep up with future Factorio Space Age content. But until next time, I look forward to seeing you all, and do take care.